the uh, mass m grams of a substance is increasing exponentially so that the mass at time t hours is given by n equals 258 to the 0.021t. Find the time taken for the mass to increase to twice its initial value and deduce the time taken for it to increase to eight times its initial value. Ooh. Right. First thing is, um, what, what people get wrong all the time with this is that they, they don't figure out what twice its initial value is and then just try making up some number that they're trying to increase it to. In fact, there's a danger that people end up putting a 2 in there, thinking to increase it to 2. That must be twice. But uh, what is its initial value? How do we work that out? T when t is 0. So when t is 0, m is 250e to the 0, which is 250e <coughs> to the 0 is 1. So its initial value is 250, twice its initial value is 500, so 500 is 250e to the 0.021t, which gives us 2 is e to the 0.021t, and then we know what we do with this, don't we? We take logs of both sides, natural logs of both sides, to get natural log of 2 is 0.021t. So t is 1 over 0 0.021 times ln2. At this point, now we can go to the calculator. Um, and my calculator has just said t equals 33. Well, it's 33.0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, it's 33.0 to three significant figures. Uh, that's ours, isn't it? Great. Um, deduce the time taken for the mass to increase to eight times its initial value. Well, hang on. Exponential growth, what we've just found here is that every 33 hours, this is doubling. So after 33 hours, it's twice its initial value. After 66 hours, 33 hours later, it's four times its initial value. It's doubled again. The next 33 hours, it doubles again. So from going from four hours, it would now be eight, sorry, for four times, it would now be eight times. So that would make it 99 hours from there. So 99 hours, 8 times the original number. So there we are, 99 hours is our time that we want. Part 2, find the rate at which the mass is increasing at the instant when the mass is 400. Um, I, again, you know this thing? They, they want us to differentiate. They haven't said differentiate, but that's what they want us to do. So we need to find dm by dt. So for part 2 now, um, I'm just going to remind myself what that function was. So I'm at 250 e to 0.021t. So dm by dt. Remember, it's, it's not on the formula sheet, but it's on our poster. Our, um, if we've got y is e to the ax, then dy by the x is what? A to the ax, that's it. A to the ax. So this, in this case, the a is 0.021. So we've got um, 250 times 0.021 e to the 0.021t. That's 5.25. And uh, the question wants us to find out the rate at which the mass is increasing at the instant when the mass is 400 grams. Or well, we're missing a little bit of information here, aren't we? What do we need to know before we can evaluate that? The time. So we need to know the time when it's 400 grams. 
when m equals 400, 400 is 250 e to the 0.021 t. Um, that gives us 1.6 is e to the 0.021 t. Again, it's a bit weird, this, isn't it? Because we're duplicating stuff that we've already done. We're solving basically the same equation twice. But anyway, we get, what do we get? 1 over 0 point, oops, 0 0.021 times natural log of 1.6 gives me 22.38. That... We're going to put that into our dm by dt equation. Five point two five e to that. I'm inclined to, to keep that in your calculator and use the exact value for that. So that is five point two five e to the zero point zero two one times two point two point three eight, giving us. Grams per hour, so that's grams, was it grams, grams per hour, there we go, and that is another six marks in the back.